here to do a little unboxing today. I ordered some stuff a little while ago from Lulu, some independent games. Uh, as always, these things never seem to tear where I'd like them to. Uh, so being from Lulu, of course, I have to watch out for some paperwork. There it is. No problem. All right, let's take a look at what I got. There is Song of the Six Gun, a spaghetti western role-playing game by uh, Sean McNally. Looks like here's our little credit page. Uh, so, yeah, this is, from what I uh, read, this is a rules light spaghetti western game. I like the art in it. It has a nice look. Kind of reminds me of, like, 60s comics, especially Italian comics, but that sort of 60s vibe to it, which is cool. I have really come to enjoy... It's weird. I didn't grow up with westerns. I didn't like westerns as a kid, but... As an adult, I sort of started getting into westerns and spaghetti westerns and all of that. I have developed a taste for it over time, and so, you know, I'm very interested. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I do like rules like games, so hopefully it lives up to that. <clears throat> Pardon. So I also grabbed from the same author, uh, Gentlemen vs. Demons. Cinematic pulp horror role playing game. Uh, here we go. These are the same folks. Now, I got this for a few reasons. Again, it's supposed to be rules light. Uh, I like the the artwork in this. Uh, I recently ran Pulp Cthulhu, which I enjoyed quite a bit. But Call of Cthulhu is uh, it's not a you know, dreadfully complicated game. I find basic role-playing to be a pretty intuitive system. But it does have some crunch, and Pulp Cthulhu adds some crunch to it. Um, you know, it's still fast-paced, it's still exciting, it's still fairly intuitive, you know, percentiles are easy to wrap your head around. But it's a little bit crunchy, you know, for my taste. I have, as time has gone on, I have eschewed complication in my role-playing games <clears throat> dramatically. Uh, you know, my favorite mechanic now, my favorite system now is Over the Edge 2nd Edition, which is extremely, it's not diceless, it's not Everway, it's not Amber, but on the mechanics that still require dice and a little bit of math, it is pretty simple. So I'm curious about more rules light systems, and part of the reason why is I have been thinking a great deal about running a longer Call of Cthulhu campaign, Masks Night Lithotep, Horror on the Orient Express, and knowing myself and knowing how long those games are supposed to take, I don't know if I want to run a game with a deeply complex system Again, Call of Cthulhu is not horrendously complex, but it may be more complex than I want. So I've given thought to something like a rules light system. Now, again, I haven't read these rules, so I don't know. Maybe it doesn't work. Uh, maybe this wouldn't be the right fit for it. And maybe I just go with Pulp Cthulhu. And, and because if I am going to run one of those campaigns with Call of Cthulhu rules, it will be the Pulp Cthulhu rules because I don't want... I don't want them to be the meat grinders that they apparently can be. I would like some of the characters who start to also finish uh, the, the game, some continuity. But anyhow, in the meantime, uh, Gentlemen vs. Demons, I'm going to take a look at this and see how this works, what the system is like. Uh, and lastly, I've heard really good things about this, uh, Matrons of Mystery by Sue Savage. Um, a cozy mystery role-playing game. So, let me just read, let's see on the back. There's been a murder, the peace and quiet of your charming village has been shattered, and someone's going to have to do something about it. And that someone is you and your friends, older ladies with time on your hands and a keen eye for a mystery. Step into the role of an older lady turned amateur sleuth, 
and work with your fellow matrons to discover clues, unearth secrets, and solve mysteries as this, in this cozy mystery role-playing game. So, you know, all those British series and murder she wrote and all that sort of thing as a role-playing game. Uh, fascinating. I am very interested in checking this out. Again, heard positive reviews on it. Here's a credits page if you want to take a look. So I'm I'm very curious. I want to try this out at some point. I think maybe I'll be able to get my wife and some of her friends to try this out with me. We'll see. Uh, so Matrons of Mystery, look forward to checking this out. So that's what I've got today. Hope everybody's doing well and uh, take care.